Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm just doing a very quick update on my kiwi berry. This is uh, Chinese gooseberry or kiwi berry. Um, this is the small one, the size of a sort of a gooseberry or a large grape. Uh, Actinidia arguta, and this variety is Isai. Um, we're on the 1st of March here, and as you can see, there's numerous buds breaking out. Um, this definitely isn't ideal. Just trying to focus in on them. Yeah, this definitely isn't ideal. There's quite a lot of buds coming out on it. There's some up there as well. These really don't want to be coming out until the beginning of April but because of all the rain we've had and the fact that it's been quite mild the, uh, they've started to grow very very early um, now that's fine because the vines themselves are very very hardy and will probably take minus 20 centigrade or more probably minus 25 but the new shoots that come out in the spring are very frost tender and we're definitely going to get frosts in the next month or so and this happened to me last year as well and the shoots get burnt very quickly with just very light frosts even minus one degrees will be enough to burn all the shoots and if there are any flowers like to be coming out this year which would be the first year flowering or hopefully first year flowering uh, they of course will be probably wrecked as well but there's nothing I can do about it um, just got to accept that it is what it is and we've had a mild February a very wet February and obviously the plants budding out in lots and lots of places we've just got to accept it anyway I thought I'd, thought I'd show it to you because it's a little bit rarer than the normal kiwi fruit which is obviously that large brown hairy one this one the kiwi berry is um, is smooth skins you don't have to peel it and you just eat it pop it in your mouth and eat it in one go but obviously updates will come later in the year to see how it gets affected by frosts Anyway, out for now. Thanks for watching everybody. Welcome to like the video. Um, you can obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't, which I'd really appreciate. Uh, share the video if you want to. And if you want to see how it gets affected by the frosts, and obviously hit that bell. And uh, any videos that I post in three or four weeks' time, you'll be notified about and you can see if it's uh, survived the frosts or died back. Thanks for watching. Catch up in your next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody.